The instability after the 2011 uprising that toppled Hosni Mubarak took a heavy toll on Egyptians. And the ousting of Mohamed Morsi in 2013 prolonged their hardship. Ahmed Amin, selling fruits here in Cairo for over 10 years, says business has been affected. Sales went down significantly because people's incomes went down. Whoever used to buy a kilo would buy half now. Business is not good and the government must act quickly because people are suffering. A spate of bombings and violence during the year have been another cause of concern for Ahmed. Of course, we live in fear and anger, as well as the people who did this. But security has improved a lot in the last two months. The level of violence has dropped. The government's crackdown on members of the outlawed Muslim Brotherhood was criticized by international rights groups as a violation of civil liberties. Many Egyptians, however, support this crackdown. They blame the Brotherhood for the violence, although the group denies it. Brotherhood is doing this as revenge for the ouster of their leaders. They don't want to see the country develop or improve. They must be stopped. But is there hope for a better year ahead? Of course, we have a new constitution, a new president and parliament soon. There's a lot of work to be done, but things will be better. Looking around on the first anniversary of the July uprising, there is optimism in the streets. But it's cautious optimism. Egyptians are waiting to see if the new president will fulfill his promises and improve their living conditions. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.